you know what i would say guys is go for your traditional breakfast menu you know when it comes to lunch please ensure you keep it light enough focus on including maximum food group hey guys welcome to this video on 1500 calorie diet for vegetarians by healthy fine me my name is aruna prasad and i'm a nutritionist i have done my masters in nutrition and biochemistry and i have been guiding people on food and nutrition for the last 11 years now let's dive into the topic of how do you plan a 1500 calorie vegetarian diet You know guys before we move forward I would like to emphasize that this is just an indicative menu and an indicative portion size this is a guide that will teach you that you don't have to take extreme steps to stay fit or you know to lose weight or even manage your medical condition please talk to your nutritionist to understand what you know what really works for you and how can you actually tailor make it to see best results Now let's start with understanding the basics before we actually start working on a nutrition plan. Let's begin with understanding morning snack. If you wake up hungry or you know you feel breakfast is what you really look forward to the most. This is my case absolutely. Then you got to start eating within the first 15 minutes of waking up. You know this helps you keep your energy levels high through the day without you know letting you go down with really intense headaches or even say very strong food craving. You know you may also need a couple of mid meal snack. In this case what you have to do is keep your breakfast, lunch and dinner smaller and lighter. That would be ideal so that you know you do not end up overeating. So if you wake up feeling hungry, break down your meal through the day to small and you know a lot more frequent meal. Now the second case would be if you're somebody who can just manage with you know three main meals, you're good with that. But you know you don't really have the appetite to snack in between. You you can continue doing that. What I would like to emphasize here is that you know there is no fixed rule there's no thumb rule to how much you should be eating how, or how often you should be eating you need not eat every 2 hours once um not do you really have to fast to lose weight or even get fitter what i strongly suggest is that you listen to your body signal you know it's not just with eating but it could even be with your working out or your sleep dip, you know duration as well So this is the best way that you can actually manage your health. Irrespective of how many meals you eat in a day, focus on including maximum food groups. You know, food groups meaning, you know, the grains, legumes, lentil, vegetables, nuts, oil seeds, fruits, it could be dairy products. You know, I'm sure all of us are aware of the food groups already, right? So include as many as you can in a day. what i would surely recommend to skip if you ask me what are the big no's then i would surely say skip anything that comes out of a packet it could be a lot of biscuits or muffins or you know breakfast cereals especially on a regular basis so now let's break down breakfast for you guys now what can you actually plan for breakfast can you eat parathas or even say idli dosas or should you just be doing a lot of veggies and sprouts just because you know that term healthy you know what i would say guys is go for your traditional breakfast menu it could be idli or dosa or even upma poha semiya you know the rotis and thali peets whatever you guys prefer eating on a regular basis what you definitely got to remember here is to add some sambar or chutney with your breakfast options you know if it's upma poha semiya throw in a lot of veggies if possible see if you can add some curd by the side if you're doing parathas you know you could just probably take some greens from your kitchen garden or even grate some paneer or use some dal from your lunch and you know stuff it in your parathas and rotis if it's parathas or dosas and the rakin it can be about say two medium size portions since idlis are a little smaller you can go ahead and do about three of them now chutneys can be about 1 to 2 tablespoon and a katori of sambar or curd now coming to the mid morning snack if you have eaten a fruit on waking up then you can probably you know keep this mid morning snack a lot more beverage based what do i mean by that 
you could have a glass of buttermilk or a you know a glass of fresh coconut water with the malai or even have a glass of fresh lemonade what it does is it helps you improve your hydration especially when you know all of us are really busy at work and forget to drink our glass of water if you have not had a fruit in the first half of the day or when you you know when you have just woken up then you can do a whole fruit at this time what can you have you can have any fruits as we have already discussed it could be you know if it's like apple or banana or a pear or a chiku then you can have a one whole medium sized fruit now before we move further let me tell you that we have just begun creating brand new content for our youtube channel and will soon be uploading these brand new videos in the coming weeks healthy by me is going to be the perfect companion to guide you towards great health whether it is to lose weight gain weight get diet plans and nutrition tips handle your medical conditions you know it could be diabetes hypothyroidism or hypertension or if you're looking at say building muscle or just getting into good shape if you have not subscribed already please go and hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay tuned to healthy finance youtube channel now let's move on to lunch options You know when it comes to lunch please ensure you keep it light enough to not feel lethargic after this meal which is a very common tendency that all of us go through right and also heavy enough that you stay satiated after lunch for a couple of hours basically so especially if you have to get back to work after your lunch then keeping the varieties in a meal limited really helps to also beat the afternoon slump This is why you're mostly asked to choose between roti and rice. This way you do not end up overeating especially if you're eating with distraction you know like work meetings or while working etc. What can you eat for lunch now? It can be as simple as rice dal sabzi or you know rice sambar and a puri. Why am I emphasizing on these? Guys remember from our earlier videos on cutting down on thousands of calories protein and fat are crucial in a meal. right they provide satiety for you so that's where dal sambar vegetables come into picture it's also important to use some good fat source there which could come probably from your ghee or you know you could probably replace your um, you know sambar with a katori or a cup of curd as well now um, what it does is the good fats it not just makes you feel fuller or enhance the taste but also very importantly delays the gastric empty so you can replace a cup of rice with say two rotis or chapatis and the dals can be replaced with chole lobia rajma or as i just mentioned even a cup of curd sabzis can actually be sauteed veggies or salads or any form that you really prefer let's now break down the evening snack For an evening snack you can keep it actually very simple with just another serving of fruit as mentioned earlier with a couple of nuts you know you could add probably about 8 10 pieces of almonds or pistachios or even cashews you know this can be your actually go to option if you're someone like me who prefers having an early dinner this way you don't really need to skip a snack and you can also have a good dinner if you're having a late and a light dinner then what you got to focus on is actually having a heavier and nutritionally denser snack in the evening what it also lets you do is to not actually overeat for your dinner time that's why i specify saying that you know have a heavier evening snack what can you do you could do something like boiled corn cob or sweet potatoes or even homemade puffed rice with onion tomato carrot and just turn it up into like a chaat or a bhel puri or what you can do is some home set curd or yogurt with dry fruits and nuts in it so how much of all of these a cup of it basically you can even pick up a portion of sandwich with multi grain bread and some veggies in it so the portion size guys should be actually good enough to keep your energy levels back and also help you perform the second half of the day with equal zeal guys now let's break down the dinner options your dinner can be very similar to lunch options and even the portions actually If you're eating a late dinner, say just before or an hour before your bedtime, then what I strongly suggest is to take in half your lunch portion for your dinner. And this way you can also do a very heavy satiating evening snack. 
If you are somebody like me who's ready to give a good 2-3 hour gap between your dinner and bedtime, then go ahead and enjoy your meal with your family without really having to restrict your portion sizes. In this case, you can actually keep the evening snack very light. Now, as I already mentioned to you earlier, you can do a cup of coffee or tea in a day with about say half to one teaspoon of sugar. Or if you prefer having a cup of turmeric pepper milk at bedtime, go ahead, no problem. If you're getting acidic or bloated every single day, then you may probably want to limit or avoid these beverages, which could further actually affect your gut health. We hope you have got an idea of how to plan your meals. We have also made a couple of videos on how to increase your protein intake if you're a vegetarian or even how to plan your snacks under 100 calories and even how to cut down on hundreds of unnecessary calories. All these along with this video should actually help you to, you know, plan your own meals better. It should also equip you with the science behind good eating and also maintain great positive health. So here is a sample 1500 calorie diet chart for your reference. What you can do is, you know, pause the screen to look at this in detail. So now this brings us to the end of this video. We hope that you liked the video. Do like the video, share it across with your family, friends and your loved ones. You can also add this video to your own personal playlist and come back and watch this video regularly to make sure you implement all these tips that we discussed in this video. Let me know in the comment section below which, how are you planning to you know, start implementing your 1500 calorie diet plan for vegetarian. Healthy Fine Me is going to be the perfect companion for you to guide you to perfect health, whether it is to lose weight, get diet plans and nutrition tips, handle any of your medical conditions, could be diabetes, hypothyroidism or hypertension or even say build muscle or just get into the perfect shape. If you have not subscribed already, go and hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay tuned to Healthy Fine Me's YouTube channel. Thank you.